Zer's on Watcher's Grave on Nessus. He's currently selling the Season of the Splicer armor, the Lightkin stuff. This is really cool armor, definitely super dope. The Hunters, Titans, Warlocks, all of you guys got some really cool pieces. For the Hunters, I think the arms, chest piece, and cloak are super dope. You can definitely skip the helmet and boots, although I would still get them. Titans, I think your chest piece is really good. Your arms are really good. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Those two pieces are the only cool pieces, I think. The mark is decent, but not as good as the Hunters or the Warlocks. Speaking of Warlocks, your chest piece is really cool. Your arms are really cool. Your boots are really cool. And your cloak is really, or the mark is really cool. Your bond is really cool. Everything is damn near cool. It's just the, the helmet that I really don't like. So definitely pick these pieces up because these are really, really cool. And if you ever see Lightkin and Zer, best believe I'll make a video because this armor gets asked for a lot. So definitely get the armor. As for the weapons, we're going to be looking at True Prophecy with Rangefinder and Demolitionist. Man, if this if if this had any other thing other than Demolitionist, I would say, yeah, I mean, I guess if you want to have a, a heavy grenade build in PVP, this would be really good. Uh, Seventh Seraph SI2 field. Mm, field prep and Zen moment. I'm gonna ignore that. Extraordinary rendition, Zen moment, multi kill clip. This is decent. This is definitely decent. Um, I would pick it up just cause, cause I I really like this gun. But, eh, it's like it it's it's not bad. It's just I don't know. Zen moment. Uh, sweet sorrow, perpetual motion, and tap the trigger. You can get if you want. You can buy this for the uh for the deep sight if you want it's pretty cool it's a it's an arc rapid frame auto rifle and i like mine i just don't know if i'll ever use it uh judgment of kelgaroth is the other weapon that you can get for the uh deep whatever the fuck it's called it's a glaive though so like i don't know it's up to you i'm not gonna tell you how to spend your your material but for a glaive that's a hard pass no distraction with kill clip Ooh, and charge time. Ooh, and liquid coils. Kind of like I, I don't know. I, 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 Corsair's Wrath. Like all the weapons from Season of the Hunt just are not good. So like, I personally want to get this. And then Night Watch without Law and, and Moving Target, which is uh whatever, to be quite honest. As for the exotics, we have Hawkmoon with Eye of the Storm. I would pick, mm, I kind of want to pick this up because I, I'm growing accustomed to Eye of the Storm. To be fair, the only reason I'm liking Eye of the Storm now is because of the hand cannon that I have, uh, Exalted Truth. I have one with Killing Wind and Eye of the Storm, and I've been really enjoying it. But I still hate perks that have to proc when your health is already like dick low. Uh, Dead Man's Tale with Outlaw. And then Crimson, this is gonna be a terrible week for fucking trials, but Crimson, there you go. Orpheus rig with some very mediocre rolls, terrible rolls, and this is actually decent. Um, yeah, because if you masterwork this, I would definitely masterwork this and then buff, bump up the resilience to a 20, what was it, 23? Then it'll be 23, 18, 18, 16. That's actually pretty decent. You want, you at least have ones, technically twos on everything that you want, um, except for strength. Man, if mobility was switched with strength, I think this would be fire. I am probably gonna pick this up. Um, Hold on, let me switch the helmet out real quick. Uh, I, I, Yeah, I wanna pick this up for my Warlock. Cause I don't think my, I don't think the current one that I have, oh, I just, Assassin's Cow. Well, I can't see it, so that's fun. Um, let me see. Let me just do this shit real quick. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Again, definitely pick up this armor. It's really, really good. Um, not the biggest fan of the Assassin's Cow roll that I just got. I'll show you guys so you guys can see. It's not terrible, but yeah, like. 25 mobility is pretty wild. 20 strength is pretty wild, especially on a build with Assassin's Cal. That being said, I probably would never like spec this for strength considering uh, I just spec it for mobility and put the uh, gambler's dodge on it. So that way I can get my melee back immediately. Like if the 20 was on recovery or resilience, I would have I would have gone wild because I already have a, a pretty good build for 
yeah it's uh, i think i've shown you guys before it's this one right here yeah like 100 100 and then 20 and the reason this it's like this is because it's a dodge and i most of the time don't have to worry about dying so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point let me know if you guys are going to be picking up some of the stuff that uh is there selling other than that be safe i'll see you guys later